Welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Videos. In this video, we will see how to make a post call using REST Web Service Consumer Transformation in IDQ. The REST Web Service Consumer Transformation is an active transformation that connects to a REST Web Service as a web service client to access or transform data. The REST Web Service Consumer Transformation can send a request to a REST Web Service and receive a response from it. The data integration service uses the HTTP POST method to send data to a REST web service. We might use the POST method to create a resource or a collection of resources. Now we will move to the demo part. Here we have a sample request message in the JSON format that we will pass to the REST web service consumer transformation. Right now, we are in the developer client, and in this mapping, we have added a physical data object that just contains one record that we will pass to the REST Web Service with the help of REST Web Service Consumer Transformation. Now, we will add REST Web Service Consumer Transformation to this mapping. Right click, click on Add Transformation, search for REST Web Service Consumer. Give the name, choose the HTTP method as the post. Click on Next. In this dialog box, we can define the method input and method output for the REST Web Service Consumer Transformation. In the REST Web Service Consumer Transformation, the method input and the method output define the structure of the request and response messages. The method input and the method output include mappings that define how to map the message elements to the input and output ports. Now, there are two ways to create the structure of the request and response messages. First is manually, and the second one is through the schema object. In this demo, we will define the structure of the messages manually. Right-click on this REST consumer input add the child element xml root now define the structure of the request message in this xml root right click on this xml root add the child element name again click on that xml root and add the child element job click on the input mapping Expand this XML root, click on the location and choose the request input. Click on next. Now we will define the method output. Go to the output mapping, drag the rest consumer output to the right hand side in the port section and click on finish. Click on the transformation, go to the port section, click on rest consumer output. Click to add the other ports, select output XML and click on OK. Now go to the advanced section, give the URL of the REST web service. Choose the input format of the request message, which the REST web service accepts and the output format. Save the REST web service. Now. Connect the input ports of the transformation with the output ports of the PDO. Now choose the transformation, right click, choose run data viewer. We can see that we have got the response message and the record has been created on the server side. Please refer these KBs and this documentation link to understand more about REST Web Service Consumer Transformation. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.